Welcome to Age Play Confidential, a podcast where I talk about anything and everything age play related. I'm your host, Super B. And today's a very special episode of Age Play Confidential because I'm doing it on location. That's right. I am in Washington, D.C. this weekend. And I will be engaging in some uh, switchy DDLG, MDLB type uh, play with a very special person. And that very special person agreed to be on the show with me. Uh Uh-huh. And this will be my very first guest. And um, she's fairly new in the community. However, she has built a following. And uh, she's probably one of the newest uh, bombshell diaper girls that are out there. Hint, hint. Uh, But anyway, she will be joining the show a little bit later on. Um, She's on her way here right now. It is kind of snowy in the uh, D.C. area. And uh, she's taking her time to get here, and that's quite all right. Safety. Safety is always first. But uh, while we're waiting, I figured I'd just uh, pop in here and start talking about a couple of things. You know, I I have... um, I also, if you listen to my show, there's also um, a segment that I do where I um, talk about some issues that somebody might have emailed me, um, and you know, like uh, advice, things of that nature. And I got one on Tumblr here. Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, Tumblr. Hey, Super B, big fan of Age Play Confidential. It's my favorite YouTube-based ABDO podcast. We'd look. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's your favorite YouTube-based ABDL podcast. Well, thanks. I guess not too many ABDL YouTube-based podcasts. <laughs> So since I'm the only one, I'm your favorite, right? Not your favorite favorite, though. Okay. You know what? Now I'm hurt. I'm not going to give you any advice. No, I'm supposed to be the favorite YouTube-based. I saw that little. I'm just kidding. (laughs) I appreciate the love. Thank you. YouTube-based, Spotify-based, whatever-based. I'm only on YouTube, by the way. So uh, they got the exclusive. I need like a special $100 million Joe Rogan podcast with like Spotify or something. Then I'll move it over. All my... Four episodes of content over there. Anyway, back to the back to the email. Um, okay, uh, you're, it's my favorite YouTube-based ABDL podcast. Would love if you did an episode on relationships and ABDL. My wife recently divorced me over my interest in infant play, and I ended up losing custody of our kids. Oh, that's not good. Now I'm on my own, and all this free time is great for my role play, but I still want a mommy wife could really use your advice as someone who is good and balancing being super adult and so infant thank you yeah no listen listen um i know what you're feeling i know what you're going through um it's not the sole reason for my breakup i hope it's not the sole reason for your breakup you know what i'm saying so like okay you got kids involved here that's hard it's hard because um, with with the kids, you know, uh, depending on how old they are, you know, obviously you need to be there for them. That's first and foremost. Um, finding a mommy wife, I would say, whoa, pump the brakes. Hold off, pump the brakes. Don't let that be the sole thing that you want. I hope it's not. But yeah, I see what you're saying, though. Now that I'm free, I can go and do whatever the fuck I want. Yes, that's exactly how I feel. I'm in the same boat as you, my brother. I'm in the same boat as you, okay? Except there's no issue with, um, you know, we're amicable. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no animosity or anything. It just didn't work out. You know, great person. We, we both acknowledge we're great people. I hope that's the case for you and your ex-wife. Uh, if she's bitter and resentful because of this fetish and it, she's preventing you from seeing the kids because of it, I hope nothing happened that would have made her think that. You know what I'm saying? Like, how obsessive were you with this thing with her? Were you at all? Like, there's a lot of questions, obviously, that I have to ask. Like, how obsessive were you with this fetish um, for her to be driven away by it? 
You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, you said here, uh, recently divorced me over my interest in infant play. Interest or obsession? You see, there's, there's a lot of things that I'm not privy to to understand because then I could probably give you better advice. If, if let's just say you were obsessive over your infant play and that's all you wanted to do and then, you know, then I can see her being like, yo, fuck it, I get it, you like it, but um, did she know about it when you were, like, another question is, did she know about it and she married you anyway? Did she find out about it after the fact? How long were you guys married when she found out? There's a lot of missing variables here. So if you want to reach back out, kind of give me some of that extra info. But for right now, I would say, all right, you 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 say, I still want a mommy wife. Could really use some advice. My advice is, and I don't know how, how recent this divorce is. Let's see. Hey, Super Bay. Did I ever an episode? Recently divorced. Okay. So this is all recent. Okay. I should pay attention the first time I read it, huh? So this is a recent divorce. I said pump the brakes and don't go looking for a mommy right away. It's um, it's not healthy, right? Um, I think you need time to be with yourself, collect your thoughts, um, but the advice is take it easy, buddy. Just don't go trying to find somebody you're gonna kill yourself over it you know you already lost somebody uh you know a failed marriage um and the last thing you need right now is to go in with high hopes and the truth of the matter is uh it's not easy to find um somebody uh in this community um uh there's there's a lot of factors you know there's overabundance of babies versus mommies so you can imagine um, these uh, real mommies, once somebody finds out that this mommy is real because there's a lot of fake mommies out there, that's a whole other podcast. But, um, you know, once you find a real mommy, now get her attention, number one. I don't know how you do that, but like I said, she's probably getting bombarded with messages from other people. And... Um, Number one, try to get her attention somehow. Number two, do you have an account of some sort? Do you have an online presence? Like, for you to meet somebody, you can't just be somebody with a fake profile, you know, you know, a regular profile with nothing. You know, you need to show that here's who I am. I'm an infant, I'm a toddler, I like to dress this way, look what I do. And then let some let, let these people, potential mommies, find your content and be like, oh, look, this is a cute baby boy. I Very cute content. They'll start liking your stuff, admiring you from afar. Maybe you post something that gets them to say, hey, let me reach out to this cute content. Very good, keep it up. And then you start a conversation that way. I've met, I've met up with... Littles. I'm not going to say that I've found a mommy because I have not found a mommy. But as far as meeting with people, I've met up with Littles and the conversation, the first words were never, the intention was never to, I'm going to meet this person. It was always, hey, it's a nonchalant answer to one of their stories or a response to something. And then they respond back and then you just strike up a conversation and, hey, this person's interesting. And, hey, I like their content. And, oh, shit, they live close by. Let me just reach out and say, hey, let's meet up. And that's how I guess it's supposed to work, you know, but it's not easy. It's not going to be easy. So my recommendations for you, my friend, um, if you want to meet somebody, A, if you don't have an account, you're anonymous, according to this um, uh, post here on Tumblr. But you if, you, if you don't have a little account, make one, okay? Post pictures of you. Um, if you don't want to show your face, you don't have to, okay? I don't. Occasionally, I'll let the close friend see what I look like. Uh, but uh, for the most part, I, I blur it. So you can do that. If you want to show off your little side, show off your little side. Show what you're all about. Also, though, show that you're an adult. You you know you do adulty things. You know, like in my Instagram, I'll um, you know I'll throw out you know 
uh, an image of me going to the gym or pumping up and, you know, this, and here I am doing some uh, martial arts training and I'll show some of that. Uh, and then on the flip side, then, you know, the next image after me doing something very manly will be something very infant just to say, look, here's the, here's, here's me. Here's me, the normal guy. Limited. I, I give limited information to the, 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 the people out there, but here's me as a normal guy. Here's me as an infant. And so now people know what I'm about, hopefully, and uh, people have reached out and be like, hey, you know, mommies have reached out and said, hey, you know, uh, I like your stuff. I, I would love to, you know, I wouldn't mind babying you one day. And then we're like, well, I love your stuff. I wouldn't mind you babying me one day. And then la-di-da, we make plans, and, and there you go. Um, so that's what you have to do, okay? Um, and start slow, and it's not going to happen tomorrow. You're not going to find one tomorrow. You're not going to find one in a month. How long has it been for me? Some people get lucky. Some people get lucky. Okay? You know, but have confidence. Have faith. Don't put all your baskets in one. No. Don't put all your eggs in one. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Reach out to, to people and just start reaching out, making conversations with mommies. Don't be a creep either. Or like, I don't think I have to say this. But I don't, you know, there's... Okay, maybe I do have to say this because people keep fucking doing it. And I don't know if these are new people to the internet, new people that to, new to contacting people, or you just don't know. But if you're a little and you want to try to get in touch with a mommy, don't be fucking going up to them and saying, change my diaper, be my mommy. Um, you know, don't, don't, don't just show them a random picture of your diaper crotch. You know, that shit will get you blocked. That shit will get you blocked. Uh, that tactic never worked. Never. Do you understand the word never? It never works. There is no legit mommy who's going to get a message that says, change my diaper or be my mommy and is going to say yes. So if that is you, stop fucking doing that. Okay, my guest is outside. I'll be right back. All right, I am back, back, and um, I'm going to be a little quiet because um, a lot has transpired since we last spoke. Um, <laughs> she is now napping in her crib, freshly diapered, uh, after having her little uh, lunch. So I am going to continue this podcast. Um, this podcast started off with a viewer advice question on Tumblr, and it's pretty much going to morph into uh, the topic of today's show, which is dating in the ABDL community. And uh, I kind of touched on this a few podcasts ago, uh, you know, my little situation here, but um, I figured we can discuss dating in the ABDL community. I mean, it's going to be rough, plain and simple. Um, but it's not impossible. Okay. Uh, but you have to understand, gentlemen, that the dating pool, the eligible women that are out there who are willing to baby a grown man and actually enjoy it, that number is limited. Understand that. And there's no secret that the number of men that are into it farly outweigh the number of women who are into it and who know about it. Yeah, you know, there could be women out there, people that like this but don't know it yet. It just hasn't clicked yet. You know, there's people out there from all ages, you know, uh, but the fact of the matter is it's predominantly men. So you have to stand out, right? If you're going to date in the ABDL community, you have to stand out if you want to date, period. Vanilla, ABDL, whatever, right? But, um, you know, uh, it's new new generation of littles, you know? Young littles, fit littles, you know, the old saying or the old... Uh, Hollywood representation of ABDLs or fat old guys, you know, in a cloth diaper with a big safety pin across it and a 
1950s looking bonnet right and that's not appealing and it's funny and it's comical and that's what a lot of how Hollywood kind of represented him until recently there's been some sitcoms uh, TV shows uh, references to adult diapers and maybe some of these shows are actually starting to use legit adult baby brand diapers in their shows so it's it's not that it's getting mainstream but I think um, it's it's getting more out there. So, um, but um, dating wise, though, that doesn't help. <laughs> I don't know why I went to that tangent there. Because that's another topic. That's another show topic. You know, how ABDLs are represented in Hollywood. But we're talking about dating. Your dating pool is small. That's where I was. Um, and you got to stand out. How are you going to stand out? Well, um, you're not going to really put out, I mean, you could be brave and try to put out a bumble or tinder profile that's straight up yo this is my kink this is what i'm into if you're into that too swipe fucking right you know you could do that and hey you might be successful you might be fucking just be blunt you're gonna you know what the people who are actually gonna want to will swipe right you might be surprised because like who would be brave enough to do this and secretly Maybe they're into it, but here here's a guy who's willing to be out there. And you know what? If you're if you're somewhat attractive, shit, chances might be better. Hey, it might be a good idea to go. You know, obviously you don't show your face, and they're probably not going to be able to let you, you know, show yourself in a diaper. But you know, be clever with the profile description, and you might you might have luck. Because you know what? There might be a single ABDL cute girl that's just swiping, and all of a sudden they see your profile, and you're like what the fuck? <laughs> Yes, boom, you're in like Flynn. Ha ha ha. No, but it, it, think about like a regular vanilla profile on one of these dating apps. You want to, you don't want to do the same thing, you know. Like, you don't want to be a guy holding a, a fish, you know, smiling like you just caught something. You know, you want to show your, you know, a nice headshot, pretty much. Maybe you're doing some action shot, not holding a fish. Uh, and, you know, maybe be down the earth in what you write about yourself, be yourself. But now, how do you apply that to the ABDL community? We don't have ABDL dating apps. So the best thing I would suggest is putting yourself out there. Make a profile. You don't have to show your face. You can do it anonymously, and um, you can get yourself out there, and you can put out, good content not just the same old crotch shot because I've seen plenty of accounts where you got 50 60 pictures but it's of a crotch shot almost from the same angle and it's really not appealing to me you know I you know I like a, I like content creators that actually put some creativity behind their content you know not just uh, you know um, and I do the same you know, when I put out my videos or take pictures, I really want to capture the true essence of being little. But there you go. I have an online presence. I have my private accounts uh, that show off my ABDL side. You know, unfortunately, I haven't come across anybody that... Well, I have. I've come ac- I've met people through Instagram or Tumblr and everything like that that uh, could have had something work out but you know distance and stuff play into that and um, you know got to be careful you know you don't want to get your heart broken over something stupid too so but try to get out there and meet people you know we'll try to meet people online you know maybe they see a profile like I dig this guy's profile let me reach out because I also like what he does and blah 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 and there you go, right? And then maybe you have yourself a, at least a friend, at least somebody in the community. And maybe they have a friend that, oh, then you hit it off with them. You know what I'm saying? But you have to put yourself out there. You can't be afraid to meet people. You can't flake out on people, too. That's rude. I've had that happen a lot of times, too. Now, with dating, and when we're talking about online, we have ghosting now. And people are ghosting others left and right on the vanilla level Forget about an ABDL level, 
Okay, I've been ghosted so many times. It was re it's ridiculous. It's very rude too. I think. I think it's very rude. Uh, you know, but um, you know, you kind of try to call bullshit. The sooner the better. You know, I think you can realize nowadays what's a fake mommy account or uh, or whatever. But um, you know, um, I think at this point, if a mommy finds you attractive and likes your stuff, they'll reach out to you. Um, you know, uh, because you have to realize they're, they're probably are getting bombarded with emails and, and, and messages and private messages that, especially if they're well known, especially if they have many followers, uh, you're not the only one hitting them up on their DMs. You're not the only one liking their pictures. Um, you're not the only one, you know interacting with them so um you have to do something that stands out right that's all and that's all so let's see how long have we been going here we have been going this is a short one actually um and so i think we're gonna call it quits here um and then maybe well maybe if my friend wakes up maybe we can have a little uh sit down and, and talk and uh ask her about her or like, you know we could probably ask we get a woman's point of view her her point of view on dating in the ABDL community I think she has some experience but uh, so we're gonna have to, you know what I'm just gonna pause it for now that's what we'll do and then uh, hopefully when we come back we have a welcome back everybody to the podcast and my guest is up okay prior to you waking up here I was going over somebody's uh, email or a message that I got. They had a question about they got a divorce. Mm -hmm. She left him because he likes to be a little infant and he was asking for advice. And I was getting date. I was giving dating advice, regular dating advice. But now you're adding the fact that there's A.B. Dale involved, which mm -hmm. is a big. And, and you, the only and we we talked about it yeah. yesterday, the only. Uh type of person that you'd probably feel comfortable with is somebody else that is also a an ABDL, ABDL right? Yeah. So, but good luck. Good luck. Because yeah. uh, I was saying that dating pool is so small to begin with. Then you have the dating pool. And then you have to add ABDL. And then you're like, there's location. There's so many factors. It's just like horrible. Mm -hmm. But um, I've never been personally lucky in dating I mean, have you been there? You know? um, I guess you could say I'm lucky in that I had an ABDL <laughs> relationship. Yes. Um, and was it but you, fairly quickly for you? Yeah. Because you're quick. new to this yeah. thing. Folks, if you don't know who this is, by the way, <laughs> I have to introduce uh, Diapered Bombshell. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But also known as where on what platforms? Because you have a bunch of platforms. Yeah, on Instagram right now, I'm <laughs> diapered bombshell. Yes. Um, on Twitter, I am baby bombshell. Yes. Um, and those are my socials. And then I'm also on Just for Fans. Just for Fans. Uh, also at diapered bombshell. Yes. She's a bombshell. <laughs> but she's new to the game. I'm surprised how new, like less than a year yeah. is as being out in the community. And already you made a name for yourself so much that she's gotten deleted thrice from Instagram already. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting feat. Bravo to you. Yeah. But that's messed up, by the way. That is messed yeah. up. Super annoying. But she's on Twitter. And if you haven't seen her content, guys and gals, you're missing out. So definitely check her out. Uh, I just tagged her on a post on my Twitter, Age Play Confidential. Age Play Podcast, I think. Whatever. Check it out. Uh, but anyway, uh, but thank you for this. Actually, you're my first guest yeah. on the podcast. So thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, we came I came down to D.C. to visit. We're hanging out here. We're having a good time. And uh, I figured, why not? Let's do you a kind of a you were gracious enough to agree to the podcast. <laughs> and I appreciate it. But, um, you know, like, so, yeah, you're new, but you've kind of always been into this, right? This yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. Ever always. since. Ever since little kids or little or yeah, like preschool. That's my earliest memories. And it, you don't, nothing bad happened to you, right? No, no. trauma. That's no. exactly how it worked for me. Yeah, 
It just picks you. Yeah, it's and crazy. now it's stuck with you, <laughs> right? And now you you can't really get rid of it, no matter how much you want to. No. But you're kind of late as far as, uh, um, you know, being into it for so long, and now finally coming out. Uh, any reason why you waited so long? Or, um, I think I honestly had a lot going on in my personal, like vanilla life, that yeah. it kind of distracted me from it. And that's one part of it. And then the other part is just dealing with the shame of yeah, it yeah. and just like the overall acceptance because I never accepted it. I was always ashamed of it, super embarrassed. I saw it more as like a burden mm. or like a curse yeah. than something to like actually enjoy. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you there. And it's, you know, it's hard to kind of cope with it. But then at some point in your life, you're just like, that's there's no getting rid of it. Yeah. I'm either going to fight it and struggle with it or I'm just going to embrace it and say, fuck it. And then just hopefully meet people that are like you. And you know what? Thank you for social media, because look, now you're we've met <laughs> right yep. a year ago. You didn't exist to me. Yeah. And now here we are hanging. <laughs> <laughs> now you're hanging out here uh, in a diaper, by the way. <laughs> tisk tisk tisk. Ah. Uh, she makes a cute baby, though, I must say. Yeah. I must say, very cute. Uh, and so uh, this would be your second experience, then, your second meetup with another... Yeah, my second time role-playing. Age player. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, and hopefully, uh, you know, both experiences have been good. The second one was better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. No, but see, see, I came with bonus gifts because yeah. we have... We're looking at... Definitely. We're sitting right in front of a play gym. Uh, if you haven't seen my play gym, that's uh, at DIY.ABDL on Instagram, by the way. A cheap plug. And then <laughs> around the corner in the other room, there's a crib, right, with a mobile and then like a little piano thing. And then right here, uh, uh, what do you call this? A, a high chair-ish made out of a director's chair. But um, not bad, right? No. It feels good, you know. It The tools of the trade, I like to say. Yeah. And uh, I think... Either one of these things are easy to make and easy to hide. So, yeah, I was thinking while I was in the crib, I was like, I need to buy. And you need something. I, yeah, I need this now. <laughs> you need something. And do you get a lot of uh, visitors? Mostly in your where you live. Yeah. You do okay. All the time, yeah. So then you need something that you can easily break down. Yeah, that's easy. That's the thing. Yeah. Um. Uh. And then as far as like a director's chair, you could easily get away with that too. Get a couple, fuck it. Yeah, it's my makeup chair. Yeah. Say it's my makeup chair or something. <laughs> I don't know. Make something up. Uh, but that that's pretty neat. So how do you like, uh, how'd you like the crib experience? Uh, it was amazing. It definitely added to the experience, mm -hmm. especially with the mobile. I really like that. Yes. Yeah, so um, that's a nice little soft yeah. music. Uh, it turns and it also has like a little light show almost yeah. I think um, it is definitely nice um, and uh, she napped quite a bit today I must say I very comfortable <laughs> right yeah. you can't help it you can't help it uh, I'm used to it though so it's all like, like you enjoy <laughs> I did. and then I was out here doing a podcast while you were sleeping and everything like that mm -hmm. uh, but um, but that's good but uh, now uh, we were just also talking about conventions and uh, you've never been to one, right? Mm -mm. Uh, but how do you think you would be? Do you think you'd be nervous? Yeah, very yeah. nervous. You need like a wingman, that's for sure. Yeah. I've always went solo, uh -huh. which is is hard because if you're solo and then everybody's paired up and then or they all go out and then you're looking for somebody and you can't find anybody and you're like, well, I guess I'm by myself. <laughs> all right, and then... Uh, there was a bar at this at the Teddy Con where I was at. I don't mm -hmm. know how it is a Capcom, but or you go to your room and you're just like, all right, well, I'm in, I'm in the same environment. Except I'm in a hotel, but I have nobody to play with, kind of thing. Oh. Yeah. So you need <laughs> if you're gonna go, you need. I suggest you go with the wingman or something, or a caregiver. Uh -huh. That was that's the goal for me. Like, yeah. go with a caregiver or somebody that you could switch it up with, mm -hmm. just that so that you can both experience it. With your people. Yeah. You're with your people, you know? But, you know, always, you got to be careful with the... You're, you're, you're going to be probably uh, followed, <laughs> you know? 
Uh, but uh, but we're good here. So, yeah. um, but I wanted to also plug your fan site. I think it's uh, there's, the content is really nice, guys. I think you should <laughs> definitely you know definitely you know pay her a visit, uh, uh, contribute because uh, you know she's she's been getting kicked off of Instagram. That's not fair. Yeah, not fair at all. No, not fair at all. Uh, but you 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 must have a lot of fans though. I was curious about the types of videos that get liked the most by your fans. Like, do they like the sexy lingerie diaper stuff? Do they like the baby baby stuff? Do they like? Do you do mommy stuff? I don't even know. Um, that. I did one mommy video so <laughs> far, but I have more planned. Yeah. Um, but since I identify as more of a little, mm-hmm. um, I just tend to yeah. do more little stuff. And 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 what are your fans like, the most? What is like your? Every time I upload this type of video, mm-hmm. I know I'm gonna get. Honestly, it hasn't even been a month yet. It feels like it has, but it hasn't been a month, so I haven't noticed like a huge trend. Mm-hmm. Really, uh, I didn't notice, even though I can't post this type of content on just for fans. Um, people like really love messing videos. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's a that's a biggie. No I, it, that is a biggie, uh, and you know, I I don't I don't know what I I guess I know what it is being in that you know it's just uh, it's an act that it's like you're for me it's like you're not supposed to be doing that. That's yeah. what makes it hot. You know, like it's like you're not supposed to be doing that, but there you are, yeah. and you're in a diaper that makes that makes you attractive, and then that. So yeah, some people like that authenticity that, that we were talking about earlier, yeah. and so. Uh, I could see that. So, you, yeah, it's just, you can't do that. Where, where, where else are you going to upload it, right? Yeah, so <laughs> I figured people liked it so much, I would start uploading them on a different platform that allows it. Um, Clips for sale? Do they li- allow I that I think stuff? they do, and then also many vids. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll probably end up doing that because... Yes. Yo, if they're going to be paying <laughs> you the cheddar, like, why not? Why not? Yeah. I, I say go for it. You know, especially now, like, uh, why not have two different, there's the, the more risque, yeah. and then there's the nice soft kind of stuff. I think yeah. there's a... and I like both. I, there, yes, yeah. and there's definitely a fan base for both, because there's people that don't like that other stuff, you know, and it's yeah. like, right. You know, I'm a connoisseur of all types of uh, content, yeah. I guess, you know. <laughs> so Some more than others, but, you know, but that's cool. But, uh, well, I'm glad you're enjoying it, and hopefully... You know, this again, not even a year, which is, which is great. You already have your own website mm-hmm. where you can get access to all your, all your accounts, mm-hmm. and uh, hopefully it, it continues to, to grow. Yeah. You know, like again, you're a year into this. You already been deleted thrice from Instagram. <laughs> that's a that's a big deal in itself. So I think you hit a big kid. <laughs> Uh, and and definitely uh, look out for her because uh, she is a diapered bombshell. She's hot. <laughs> uh, but I, I wanted to say thank you for joining me. Of course. Uh, I am going to cut this short because someone is filling her diaper up here, oh, yeah. and I, it's just going to leak all over this couch, and I cannot have that because I then I have to pay extra. See, it's a nice hotel here. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. And guys, I appreciate you sticking around for the whole length of this show. Um, We'll talk to you next week. Talk to you later. Bye.